Alright guys, well, we messed up one of those. It grew a little bit, and I think the reason for it is, is the tubes here have plugs in the bottom of them. I tried to do this once, that's why there's wood glue and screw holes in some of these, and that's got wood glue on it. Um, but, and I don't know if you have to wood glue these, I just thought maybe it's a thing. I'm not a woodworker, so I couldn't tell you if it helps the bond or what. I thought maybe it'd be a thing. So. And I don't know if you guys like my firework prep stuff. But I needed a new uh, I needed a new artillery shell rack here, so figured I'd build another one and show you guys. This isn't going well at all on camera. got to keep the bottom flush because I'm going to put a 2x6 on the bottom plate there so I'm just using waterproof tight bond again I don't know if it needs it or not but Maybe I should have put the clamp or let the clamp on it. I don't know. This is the first one that I've done with spacers. Generally, I don't. I didn't put spacers on the other ones that I built. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a picture of it here in the video. But I didn't do spacers on it. These are bigger tubes. I didn't know if it needed it or not. A lot of them that I see have spacers on them. I haven't had a problem out of mine with no spacers, but... Figured it, it didn't take much to put spacers on it, so. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to put a 2x4 on the end of it, up the side. That's what I was going to do. Alright, well, that's done. I guess I can pull that one out at a later date. Um... I'm going to take these, the ones that I messed up here, and I'm going to make those the upright. So let me cut those real quick. I'll cut it to match the height of this. So then I can replace the end pieces. And I've got to cut a couple more of the runners because, like I said, I cut them wrong the first time. I clamped it together like this, 
And then I must not have had my end two by fours parallel or something because it grew about a quarter inch after I screwed it together like that. Um, it may be because I measured the open end and not the plugged in um, because this is one of the messed up ones and that fits that really nice. Um, and this one's a quarter, that one's about a quarter or so different over here on the end. So I don't know. Uh, I'll probably cut another one for the other side real quick. We'll screw it together and then, uh, and we'll go from there. So we'll see what fits the top after we're done. And if I can get this to clamp on, so be it, or, you know, screw on, so be it. If not, we'll just cut another two by four. But anyways, uh, hang out if you want to see the rest of the artillery rack build. I'm going to cut a couple more boards and we'll be good to go. Well, this is either all going to be a win or a fail and you're going to see it either way. I don't know if this is going to work out the way I think it is. Hopefully it does, but if it doesn't work out, maybe it'll be what not to do. Man, that. Huh. What is it? Are those screws still in there? No. I mean, that wood glue is pretty legit. It was already setting up pretty good. Huh. All right. Maybe the wood glue was a good idea. Huh. All right, we're going to put that there. Wood glue it up, apparently. The only reason I thought about wood gluing was wood likes to shrink. We all know that. Build something out of wood and later on you have gaps. So my thought was is maybe that would help with that. Oh. Obviously, those aren't crazy tight or anything. So take this and lay this down. Like I said, I'm winging it. You guys are winging it with me. Get those slid in there to where if we can't get it back apart, they're already in there, right? Like I said, haven't done this before either, so not like this. All right. Not everybody is a masters of everything. I don't claim to be a, or I don't claim to be a master of anything. I just feel like sometimes I have good ideas. Or I have at least ideas. We won't say they're good, but I have ideas, and I figure I share them. And it's hot today. I'm sweaty. I'm always sweaty. Really. Wood glue down. Wood glue down. Oh, it won't be long enough. We'll just run it. Probably have a little bit of time lapse here. 
Ready, set, go. All right. Oh, come on. I literally just wiped all the glue drips off and everything else. And there's a drip here. I mean, not that it's a big deal. There's a big old giant drip there. That would look glorious. All right. Well, there's our other mortar rack. There's the mortar racks I built before. They don't have spacers. Um, a bunch of DR11 tubes. And this one, I decided to go ahead and put spacers in. So, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I, uh, I just needed a few more shots. It seemed like every year, just put them little legs on there. I didn't want it to take up a bunch of room, but it's nice and super stable. Um, sitting, this, this concrete's not 100% level, but it'll sit, I mean, it's, it's good. It sits in the grass good. It sat on the concrete in the shop really well, um, but it'll sit in the grass perfectly fine, but nice and stable, you know, punk, punk, punk. It ain't gonna flip over. They're going straight up. Anyways, hopefully you liked the video. I don't know if it helped you guys, but I thought if somebody's thinking, you know what, I could build me some mortar racks, you could build some mortar racks. There's there's my, my work area. Got wood glue, a little 10 inch miter saw, some two by fours and some artillery shell tubes. I've got a big remote. You'll see it on the 4th of July. If you watch my 4th of July video, I usually try to video my display. We're gonna do fireballs this year. Um, and I don't know, I've got a hundred artillery shells or something like that and some cakes and, and all that. So uh, anyways, it'll be a good time. I usually have a couple family members over, members over and that's about it. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's us building a mortar rack. So if you want to build one, build her up. Hopefully you learn from a couple of my mistakes. Measure the, the plug end of your tubes for your width. It'll turn out better. Thanks, guys. See you.